I know it's been way too long. That is totally my fault. But I have big plans of doing videos more frequently and I have like 20 videos that I want to do. The information, the revelation is already there. I'm just believing God's going to systematically give me the time and the motivation and the revelation to actually do the video. So thank you guys for being patient and thank you for watching this one. I don't know why, just because I enjoy spending that time with you guys. Wait, are you guys actually listening to what I'm saying or are you like noticing how long my beard is getting? I finally hit puberty and... I thought, hey, why not grow my beard out? Is that okay? Okay, let's not get off subject here. <laughs> so anyways, I want to do a video. I'm going to keep this one short because I want to build off of this, what, I, what I'm what i going to share tonight, what I feel like God's saying, okay? So anyways, in Psalms 46.10, there's a scripture that says, be still and know that I am the Lord. And I did a video a while back a while ago or a while back where I was sharing with you I think I did a video maybe I didn't who knows but anyways I did a video I think a while back where I was sharing I had God say the strangest thing to me God said I'm wanting you I'm gonna remove two idols from your life and I thought oh gosh God what is it it could be anything like what am I putting my faith in that I'm not aware of that you're gonna set me free from and God said two of the most unexpected things ever. God said prayer and worship. And I thought, wait, is this you, God? Like, how could prayer and worship be an idol in my life? And God was showing me that a lot of the times when I was praying, I was putting my faith in my prayer, not in Jesus. Does that make sense? And he was also showing me I was putting my faith in worship not Jesus. So I would worship to get something back for God. And it was just another part of my religiosity where I was trying to perform. And of course, I'm not saying prayer or worship are bad. But where God has me right now, he's just kind of revealing, hey, I'm setting you free to where your worship is a response to me, not a religious act because you're trying to get something for myself. And he's showing me that my prayer is a response. And in order for us to respond to somebody, we have to be in this place of first acknowledging them. And God has been taking me through this process of humbling me and setting me free from my religiosity where there's still this religion in me where I'm trying to perform for God. And thank, thank Jesus that he's setting me free from this. So I wanted to share as, as God's been kind of bringing me into this freedom of me just humbly waiting on God and being still and just waiting on him. And as God's filling up my mind and filling up my heart and my prayers are becoming a response to God's presence and the truth of his goodness, that I'm not praying or worshiping or performing because of my unbelief. I'm actually praying and worshiping because of my response to the truth. Does that make sense? And so this scripture, I felt like verbalized it so well in the other translations or when you actually look at it in the Hebrew, it's funny because it actually breaks it down and it's talking about ceasing from striving and knowing God. And we can't know somebody if they're not already there. So God's already here. He's already present. He's I am. He's in the moment. And when we're getting freed up, when we're laying down our fears, our worries, our thoughts, our striving, when we're laying those things down to Jesus, we're just left with the truth, which sets us free, right? And I wanted to give you guys a super funny picture. This is the thing that I've sh uh, shared a few times on uh, Thursdays and Saturdays because I thought it was such a perfect picture of it. And half of you guys are going to have no idea what I'm talking about, so I'm going to put up a video of it. But have you guys seen Despicable Me? You have? Okay, there's this part where I can't remember his name. Dang it, the main guy, he goes into this bank. It's like the evil bank to get money or whatever. And there's these pillars that are along the are along in like two rows. These two columns are these columns that are in two rows as he's going into the bank. And I kept getting this vision one night when I was praying when we were in group, I think. I kept getting this picture of these columns and I was seeing the columns from that movie. 
and the columns were kind of crushing this guy that was holding up the columns. You guys see what I'm talking about because I'm playing the movie right now, right? Okay. So anyways, God was showing me, I kept seeing that so clearly. I'm like, God, why are you showing me this? And God was showing me, this is exactly what happens to your flesh as you're waiting on me. As you're humbly not performing and you're just waiting on me, it's killing your flesh. And I can feel that. I wish I could verbalize it to you guys better. But in this process of God freeing me from my performance and my striving and my yearning to do something for God, as he's killing this, I can feel this dying to my flesh that's happening. And I thought that was the perfect picture of it. As we're just waiting on God. And sometimes it's so hard to just not do anything. And it's like, I've got all of these things I need to take care of. And I've got, you know, I got to take my kids to school. I've got to do dishes. I've got to, I should be praying. I should be interceding. I should be fasting. All of these thoughts come flooding in and it's actually separating us from our hearts being open to the revelation of the presence of God. And God's bringing us, I know he's bringing me, he's bringing us through that process to where we can have that intimacy, we can have that time with God to where there's no distraction that's coming in because that muscle is getting developed, that flesh is getting crushed within us to where we're humbly acknowledging, God, apart from you, I've got nothing. I'm just going to wait on you regardless of how long it takes. I'm going to seek you. I'm going to acknowledge you to where my prayers, my words, my actions are a response to you. So I hope that makes sense to you guys, and I hope it encourages you guys where you're at. If any of you guys are in that same place, if you're in that same process, we know it's going to be worth it in the end because we're going to have that greater intimacy with our Father in heaven. I'll talk to you guys soon, and I hope it's not too long, maybe even tomorrow when I get to do another video. God bless you guys.